everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this is just a quick video just showing you how I put together my Easter wreath. So I've got a lot of embro embroidery hoops and this is a 12 inch one so it worked perfectly with the 12 inch papers and I thought it was a great size for what I had in mind. So just made sure that it's nice and tight just screwing it at the top and then with my hot glue I'm just sticking it onto this really nice polka dot yellow paper which is from Over the Rainbow by Dovecraft and just making sure you know everything's sealed getting off all the glue and everything there and then just trim around the back it's a really quick way to add I guess a base and an area for you to be able to stick things to to any embroidery hoops so if you do have some you know you don't have to pay a lot for them I'd like I said I've built mine up from finding them in charity shops but they are really nice to use in your home decor and to use you know not just for embroidery so you can see there now I've got this really lovely circular kind of base now to start building all of this fun decoration. So I'm using the Easter egg lights which I used on my shadow box. I picked these up from Bastin's for £3.49 but I imagine you'll be able to find them in places like the range online or maybe some more of your more discounted stores so I don't know how easy they would be to get now but certainly try places like Amazon and eBay as well. And I've also got here some craft straw which I picked up from the works so no doubt you'd be able to pick this up online. Now it was very straight, you'll see there I'm just kind of screwing it all up just to make it a little bit more easier to manage I guess and just a bit more realistic. I wanted to create a nest. Now the lights I was playing around with for quite a while at the moment you'll see they're just kind of set around the circle hoop but I do end up changing that but I really loved how this started to look like a nest. Initially I was just going to do a little bunch of it kind of maybe towards like off the, the bottom left hand side kind of thing but it, you know I always change my mind <laughs> so now again I'm playing around with those lights I was faffing around with them for probably a good 10 minutes and then this is when I started to think why don't I actually put the eggs in the nest <laughs> makes sense yeah <laughs> so I'm going in from behind so you don't see any of the wire and I re I was kind of saying to myself as this was now happening I was like yes this is it this looks great so play around with it and once I start sticking everything down I move some of those around but and just always check that your lights work before you stick them down so now I'm just coming in with my hot glue and just kind of attaching the straw to the back there you know you don't see any of that glue at all but you obviously don't want anything falling off so you have to be careful with your fingers because obviously the straw you know the glue does get through all the gaps and there was a few times it was quite hot and I thought oh yeah just take care with that so if you are doing this with maybe you know some younger children and stuff then um, obviously just take care there with the glue so now I'm starting to bring in my little carrots <laughs> which are really cute just popping up through the hay there and um, just start playing around now with all those bits that I've been collecting over the last kind of couple of months I've got these lovely ribbons which I picked up from I want to say the works it must have been yeah because it's their Easter collection I'd had already um, had already made one up which you saw briefly but I wasn't so keen on the colours with this so I've taken this one here which has got those lovely pastel stripes and I just thought it worked really well with the pastel colour in the lights and that lovely yellow background so just made up the bow there and then just start sticking everything down so I kind of it was quite nice to be able to position everything first because I had the straw it could hold everything in place so yeah just kind of went for it now and just trimmed a little bit of the hay off as well as I go I want to keep it looking quite rustic and authentic so I didn't want it looking too neat but just those really kind of longer pieces I did kind of trim them back a little bit and you'll see now I'm just adding my hot glue to all of those carrots and then I start bringing in some other bits and pieces as well but so far I'm really really liking how this was coming together um, it's always it makes your crafting experience more pre pleasurable I think when you when things are going right <laughs> it wasn't stressful the lights were the most stressful part and now I'm bringing in these small little polystyrene eggs and um, you know they've got that speckled kind of look on them so they looked really cool so I'm just kind of and you know randomly adding them into all those little gaps again with the hot glue this didn't take long I done all of this under an hour so I just condensed it down into a quick video because you know it's pretty straightforward what to do and you can make this any size you want which is the you know the great thing and if you've got multiple embroidery hoops you could do a really nice kind of seam you know with different sizes all together so I'm just sticking the battery pack onto the back there and just the, the actual wire as well just so it's not kind of hanging out and you'll see what I meant there just tidying up some of those kind of edges just so that too much wasn't overhanging and then as I was kind of coming to the end I realized I had my little egg buckets and I love these so I've brought in this green one and I've just made sure it's really you know secure there with the hot glue and then I start bringing in some more of those eggs to fill 
the little bucket and I think it looks so so cute so I was just kind of you know grabbing them all because they were loose in the bottom of my kind of tub that I had but I'm just dumping a load of hot glue inside there you can just about see it and just start sticking them all down this whole thing became very very strong once that glue completely dries the whole thing yeah was very very safe and nothing was going to be falling off and then I'm bringing in my favorite happy Easter sentiment this year and um, I purchased this not too long ago from Craft Stash and I seem to be using it and everything but I just love the two different fonts and it's a nice size and it's just worked with so many of my Easter crafts this year so I've just heat embossed that with gold embossing powder and then I'm just cutting it with the same little rectangle die that I cut off all the time and then I've got one of my little craft wooden sticks and again I'm going to make a nice little sign with it and I just think it looked great initially I was thinking about having a big kind of sentiment through the middle I've got other Easter um, well yeah I've got another Easter wreath and I've got other wreaths so I'll share the playlist here some of them I've done much bigger sentiments but for this one I just thought that little one with the big bow and just all of that detail and you can see now in the close-up just how fun it is with those flashing lights it looks great with the lights turned off as well because they are you know the, the LED light is covered with those lovely eggs it's great during the day and then it just looks really nice at night as well love the big bow and I also finished it off with some rope there on the back so I could hang it up so there is my Easter wreath like I said I have a couple of wreaths I'll share all the playlists take a look now at the close-ups of the pictures in more of a natural light and uh, yeah I hope you've enjoyed this quick video just to give you some inspiration and I hope you have a really nice day thanks for watching bye